Hello everybody, Maven here and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. You might remember back on the April 21st TWAB, they announced that Smoothbore was getting a buff. They're reducing the spread angle of 1.1 to 1.075, which is a very tiny buff. But nevertheless, it is a buff and people thought maybe, just maybe, there is a world in which Smoothbore could possibly be meta and dethrone the king that is full choke on lightweight shotguns, reduces the spread when you aim down sights, which is very important, but doesn't matter that much now that Smoothbore's spread is a little less widened. So that's what we're going to find out today. And to further test this and prove that full choke is still the best, I even threw on steady rounds, which is going to reduce our range down to a range stat of 40, whereas Smoothbore greatly increases range, and we have a range stat of 61 on this Xenoclast. So there is a big difference, about an entire meter difference of damage fall off, yet we're still going to see if full choke prevails. All right, so we're gonna kick things off here with Smoothbore to set that standard for the other barrel options to follow. So using Darcy, we measured exactly six meters away, which is a good median for lightweight shotguns, and we're taking six shots each for testing. And we're aiming at the waist instead of center mass so we don't get any straight crits by accident. So as you can see, Smoothbore is doing some okay damage and we managed to get off a lucky kill right there. But then before we get onto full choke, we actually test out barrel shroud just to see what a normal standard barrel can do. And as you can see on the very first shot, we actually get a kill. So it's already feeling more consistent. But as it goes on, it ends up looking relatively the same compared to smoothbore, despite the fact that this roll shotgun has 21 less range. So it's kind of similar. Now moving on to full choke, it already feels so much better. Every shot is doing a lot of damage. We get not one, but two kills and then we leave them on one hp and then we get them back to back at ghost health zero hp so it's doing a lot more damage a lot more consistently so full choke is the king for ads but what about hip firing so i took the shotguns into eternity and i went up against this heavy brick and measured exactly six meters away and i hip fired at the wall to see the pellet spread and i did it with smoothbore first and then i did it with full choke and as you can see, the results are very similar. If not, Smoothbore might even be better. Who knows? You are getting that extra range after all for a similar result because Full Choke only gets that bonus when you ADS. So when it comes to hip firing, Smoothbore might actually be the way to go. So the proof is in the pudding. Full Choke is still the king perk to use on lightweight shotguns, despite the fact that this Xenoclass had 21 less range than the one with Smoothbore. Although I did do some off-screen testing with Barrel Shroud and it was able to pick up some kills from 6 meters, but one of the pellets has to hit a crit. If you don't hit the crit, it won't be a one-hit kill. So Full Choke is definitely the most consistent. Although, you know what? Small bore might actually be pretty good if you're planning on hip firing. Because if you look at the spread images and the fact that Full Choke only works when you ADS and the fact that Smooth Bore was very similar to Barrel Shroud when it comes to hip firing, you know, Smoothbore might actually be worth it if you're the kind of shotgunner that likes to hip fire all the time. So it's not completely useless, but it definitely requires some testing because I didn't really test that out in terms of getting the one hit kills, but I feel like it might not be that bad. It's really up to you what you prefer. Maybe you're using a Prophet of Doom and you just want to see that toasty 100 range on a shotgun. Up to you. So that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Those two actions really help the video's performance. And subscribe if you're new. This is a brand new YouTube channel about three and a half weeks old. So I'd really appreciate if you want to stick around. Feel free to leave your feedback and suggestions and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.